Hey guys and welcome back. This is going to be the first episode of One Thrifted Piece Three Ways for 2018. I told you guys I would be bringing this series back and I definitely meant what I said. I just I, I've thrifted some really great pieces in the last month. I was inspired. One thing I did want to do first was the mom jeans because sometimes when you're more curvy, it is harder to wear certain styles of jeans. And I felt like at first that I couldn't wear this style of jeans because I didn't think it would be flattering on me. But after playing around with styles a little bit, I did figure out some really great ways to style these pieces if you do have a more curvy figure. So I did want to do this video first. And of course these styles apply to any body type. It doesn't matter whether you're curvy or whether you're not as curvy. These looks I feel like will work with everyone. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Scoot over, cause I'm gonna insert right here. So I started with my Levi's 550s, which are these right here, already distressed. And these are the ones that I wanted to style because I just felt like I love the way that these fit me the most. I will say just a quick lesson. You guys know that these are a more of a wider boot cut fit. And if you notice in the video, I kind of get them to taper a little bit. So just a little quick trick if you have some jeans with a wider leg and you don't really like that look and you do want them to taper in, just take it once they're on, fold it over like this around your ankle, and then you're going to roll them down. And you can do this while they're on your leg. And then you just roll them again one more time and that is going to create the more jogger style tapered look of a mom jean if that's you know your look or you could wear it the other way um, either way it doesn't really matter but this is just the way that I prefer to wear them because I feel like it looks more flattering on my body type so starting off with the 550s one way that you can effectively style a pair of mom jeans if you are more curvy and you have hips and you have more of an hourglass shape is you want to accentuate the smallest part of your waist so to do that with mom jeans they do come higher up and they stop at the smallest part of your waist you want to get a shirt like this which you will see in the clip that does stop right where the jeans meet so the t the bottom of the shirt meets where the top of the jeans stop. And this is a way to bring all the attention to the smallest part of your waist, giving you a more flattering look. So I did style it with this one, and this is like a navy and cream button up that I did thrift, and it is 100% silk by Neiman Marcus. It is navy, but you can't really tell like that it's navy unless you're like right up on it. But to contrast that, I really did like the look of the snakeskin boots. So I did pair it with the snakeskin ankle booties because I just loved the way the, these prints mix. And you guys know I am a huge fan of mixing prints, so I definitely wanted to do that with this look. And then for the jacket, if I were gonna throw on a jacket with this outfit, the jacket that I would have chosen would have been my Wilson's Moto Style Bomber Jacket. And the reason that I chose this jacket is because it's cropped, so it meets where the bottom or the top of the jeans stop and of course it is the same length as the crop top that I put on. So I just felt like the proportions for this one was really great and this is definitely the jacket hands down that I felt looked best with the outfit. Okay, so for the bag, I ended up doing this bag right here. And lately what I've been noticing is, is when I'm at a loss of which color bag to wear like if I'm wearing jeans or something like that or if I have on silver or gold and I'm just kind of unsure I go for this bag 90% of the time and the reason that I go for this bag is because the blue in this bag always seems to match really nicely with light wash jeans or dark wash jeans and something about the white of the handle and the pearls mixed with the gold makes this bag more versatile. I can wear this bag with silver and gold. So whenever I'm kind of unsure of which bag to go for or which bag is gonna match my outfit, this is like my nude bag for when I'm wearing jeans because I feel like this just 
blends right in, adds a little extra something special, but without taking away from the outfit. For the earrings, I did go ahead and style it with these silver hoops because like I've said before many times, I am a hoop girl, so that's what I did. And that was look one for styling these mom jeans. Now for look two, I wanted to do something a little bit more, I mean that was pretty casual, but I wanted to do something with flats. So again, I started off with the Levi's. With the Levi's this time, I decided to pair it with a oversized men's style button up because these have been really big lately and sometimes you know as a curvy girl you don't always necessarily know how to style it up without just you know like wearing it over leggings so i did want to take an opportunity to style this now just like we talked about with the proportions you want to draw all the attention to the smallest part of your waist so for this look i decided to take this shirt and tie it at the waist just to create some shape because if i were to just leave it hanging over the jeans it would look very frumpy and there would be no shape to my body at all so to bring shape I went ahead and tied it at the waist now for the shoes these shoes honestly there is no color in this outfit that matched these shoes but something about the texture of the shoes and the print I just honestly I just wanted to mix these prints together so I decided to go for my fur um, checked print slides because I just felt like it looked really good with this outfit and I just feel like I don't know I just I think that this looks really good because the background of this shoe um, it's not necessarily white it's more of like a cream color which matches the cream color in the background of this shirt so these together again a really great way to mix a print and I love this combination together now because this did have red in it I did add the pop of red with these earrings which I really love. I do love adding these earrings to outfits that have some sort of red in them as well because it seems to bring everything out together. And then for the bag, I decided to go with my red little mini backpack. Mini bags have been really big lately and I just love all the texture and print and everything on this one and I felt like it went with my earrings really well because the hardware on this bag is gold. So I did want to throw this in to bring out all the red and again I, I love red and check print together and I love red and stripes together so I just really liked the way this whole outfit came together. If I were to add a jacket again I would have added my moto style jacket which you will see because I feel like with the proportions it was just the jacket that worked the best. Any jacket that would have been longer than the shirt I don't think would have complemented this outfit as well. So that was look number two with the mom jeans. Now, for look number three, I wanted to give a more dressy option. So I started again with my Levi's, the 550s, and I did this top actually that I am wearing because I just really love this top. Again, this top is thrifted. The last top, by the way, this stripe one this one is thrifted as well and i got this from a really sweet girl she does um sell vintage clothing or thrifted clothing and her name is authentic queens i'll link all of her information down below and i think my code might still work if you want to get 20 percent off of anything on her site so i'll link all the information down below but this top also was thrifted and i just loved this this like situation going on so when I was changing and I put this top on and I hadn't changed my earrings yet I really loved the way that the red and the green went together so I kept these earrings on with this outfit and then I added um I added a belt because I tucked this shirt into the jeans I wanted to do a look where the shirt was tucked in and the belt that I added was this Anne Klein belt right here and I love this belt because it just adds something crazy special to every outfit and because this belt I really got to wear lower on my waist when I tried to pull it up taller it didn't necessarily fit so I did kind of loop it around because this belt is actually reversible and the other side is gold so I did loop it around so you could see the gold in the front of the buckle you'll see in the video but that's how I got the waist part of it to fit now to add a jacket if i were going to add a jacket to it i would have added this jacket right here which is more of a long line blazer but this one has shoulder pads on it which i really really love and this is a jacket that i thrifted as well from Saks. it's a Saks fifth avenue brand jacket i'm not sure it doesn't have any other tags on it so i don't know if it is a brand it's oh and here it is fairbrook the brand is fairbrook but i really loved the way this jacket added some proportion 
to the outfit. So when the when the shirt is tucked in, you can add a longer line jacket, which again to me is one of the best looks. So I did add this jacket with that. And then because I had the gold going on and I wanted to bring, I really just thought this shirt would look great with gold. I did add these coach pumps that I've had. I've had these forever and they are the most comfortable pumps that I own. If I have to be somewhere walking around and um, I need to wear a pump, I will go for this one hands down. Um, they don't sell it anymore, so I can't link it. But I did add this one because I loved the gold with this shirt. I just thought it looked fantastic. And then to bring it all together with a bag, I did go ahead and style it with the Ancline bag that matches the belt. So on the belt, they have the same like lion head detail so this is the bag that I thought would look the best it's black it was plain and it didn't take anything else away from the outfit plus I already had extra colors going on with the earrings and the shoes so I just wanted to pair it back with the bag and that was outfit number three I really hope you guys enjoyed this styling of a thrifted piece three ways I do want to you know do this more regularly on my channel if there are any pieces that you would like to see me style three ways that you've seen me thrift in one of my recent hauls pause the video right now go down below and tell me which piece that is and I will pick one to style I do have a few requests for my last um, thrifted piece three ways video so I am gonna go through those again and kind of see what you guys wanted to see me style but that is all I have for today thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye